Hello everyone. Today we're diving into an intriguing topic. What a month without alcohol does to your body. This exploration seeks to shed light on the impact alcohol has on our bodies and the transformation that can occur when we hit pause on the booze for a full 30 days. From the immediate effects to the long-term changes, we'll delve into the science behind it all, breaking it down in an easy-to-understand manner. So if you are curious to know what a month without alcohol can do to your body, stay tuned. Before we explore what happens when you go without alcohol, it's important to understand how alcohol affects your body. Let's start with dehydration. Alcohol is a diuretic, meaning it causes your body to lose more water than it takes in. This not only leaves you with a pounding headache the next morning but it can also lead to chronic dehydration if you're regularly consuming alcohol. Next, let's talk about sleep. You might think that nightcap is helping you doze off, but alcohol actually disrupts your sleep cycle. It prevents you from reaching the deep, restorative stages of sleep, leading to poor sleep quality and leaving you feeling groggy the next day. Moving on to weight gain. Alcohol is packed with empty calories, and consuming it can lead to weight gain. Plus, it can lower your inhibitions, leading to poor food choices. Ever wonder why you crave a greasy pizza after a night out? That's alcohol influencing your decision-making. Now let's discuss blood pressure. Regular alcohol consumption can raise your blood pressure, putting you at risk for heart disease and stroke. It's a sobering thought, but it's crucial to understand the risks. Lastly, we can't overlook the impact on the liver. This hardworking organ processes the alcohol you consume, but too much can lead to liver damage, including conditions like fatty liver disease and cirrhosis. Now that we've seen the toll alcohol takes on our bodies, let's see what happens when we give it up. So, you've decided to go without alcohol. What happens in the first few days? As you embark on this journey, you might experience some initial withdrawal symptoms. In the first two days, your body starts to adjust to the absence of alcohol, and this adjustment can bring about feelings of anxiety. It's your body's way of reacting to a sudden change, a bit like a shock to the system. Some people may also experience physical symptoms such as tremors, which are essentially involuntary shaking typically in the hands and arms. Headaches are another common symptom during these initial days. This is because alcohol is a diuretic, meaning it makes you urinate more and can lead to dehydration. When you stop drinking, your brain isn't quite sure what to do and tries to overcompensate, leading to headaches. In rare cases, more severe symptoms may occur. These can include seizures and hallucinations. It's important to note that these symptoms are not common, but they are possible especially for those who have been heavy drinkers for a long period of time. If you start experiencing severe symptoms, it's crucial to seek medical supervision. These first few days may be tough, but remember they are temporary. Your body is simply adjusting to the lack of alcohol, and these symptoms are an indication that your body is starting the healing process. But don't worry, these symptoms generally subside after a few days. Let's move on to the more positive changes you'll start to notice. Now, let's explore the benefits you'll start to notice after a month without alcohol. One of the first things you'll likely notice is the improvement in your sleep. Alcohol may initially make you feel drowsy but it actually interferes with the quality of your sleep. After a month without alcohol, you'll likely find yourself waking up feeling more refreshed and ready to take on the day. You'll also notice improved hydration. Alcohol is a diuretic, meaning it causes your body to lose more water than it takes in. This can lead to dehydration, which can cause headaches, dizziness, and fatigue. But after a month without alcohol, your body's hydration levels will start to normalize, leaving you feeling more energized and less prone to those pesky dehydration symptoms. Next up is weight loss. Alcohol is high in calories, and it can also increase your appetite, leading to overeating. So it's no surprise that cutting out alcohol can lead to weight loss. Plus, without the extra calories from alcohol, you'll have more room in your diet for nutritious foods that support your overall health. Your blood pressure will also likely decrease. Regular alcohol consumption can raise your blood pressure, putting you at risk for heart disease. But after a month without alcohol, your blood pressure can start to return to normal levels. And let's not forget about improved liver function. Your liver is responsible for breaking down alcohol, and too much can cause damage. But the good news is that the liver has an amazing ability to heal itself. After a month without alcohol, you'll give your liver a much-needed break and a chance to start repairing any damage. Finally, the long-term benefits. Abstaining from alcohol can lead to increased productivity and overall well-being. Without the hangovers and sluggishness that can come with drinking, you'll find yourself with more energy and a clearer mind to tackle your daily tasks. As you can see, a month without alcohol can bring about some incredible changes in your body and overall health. 
So, there you have it. That's what a month without alcohol does to your body. We've journeyed together through the sobering effects of alcohol on the body, the initial withdrawal symptoms, and finally, the immense benefits of a month without alcohol. We discovered how giving up alcohol can improve our sleep, hydration, and even contribute to weight loss. We learned about the potential for reduced blood pressure and improved liver function. And let's not forget the long-term advantages of increased productivity and overall well-being. This isn't just about abstaining from alcohol for a month, it's about making informed choices for our health and wellness. It's about understanding the impact of our decisions. If you found this video useful, do leave a comment below. And remember, if you're looking to kickstart and track your fitness journey, use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below. Until next time stay healthy and keep learning.